Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all been well. Um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the books that I am scared to pick up. Uh, I haven't picked these books up in a long time. Um, they're literally collecting dust. And it's these bad boys. Um, they, they're quite hefty, I mean, two of them are quite big. But I just haven't picked these books up since I, it's been over a year. Um, and I feel like I might do like a project book kind of thing where I, these are just like my dedicated books. Um, but yeah, so the first one uh, that I'm scared to read, that I haven't picked up in a long time, is Seeing by Jose Saramago. Um, now this is the second book of Blindness um, and Blindness is such a phenomenal book, like it's one of my favourite books. Um, I want to talk about Blindness more than I want to talk about seeing but basically uh, Blindness is about a society where um, they, this city goes through an epidemic of blindness um, and it's such a phenomenal book. Um, and because I love that book so much, it only made sense to pick up Seeing. However, the writing style for Seeing is so much more complex. I feel like Blindness was just such a joy and it just flowed so well. But Seeing is the complete opposite. I'm on page 46. Um, and basically, I do this thing where I mark my books. Um, and this says London 2020 December. So this has been like, <laughs> this has been like a few months. I can't believe what else I've noted this with. <laughs> uh, uh. So quick backstory. Um, let's see what I've done with these actually. Oh, this is just says London 2019. But um, if there is something major going on in my life, I'll just take a note of it and, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't want to go into the detail of that, but the second book is a book called The Man Who Loved Dogs by Leonardo Padura. Um, here is the book. Uh, the page is amazing. We've got Tolstoy, we've got... Um, Frida, I'm acting like I, they're my friends, but um, this is a 570 page book. I mean, 500 pages isn't actually that much, but I think because it's such a big book, it does put me off. I've left this on page 166, so it's quite doable. I think with this book, so the last one I picked up was in 2019 um the issue was that it was just too detailed it kind of reminded me of Pumlock's writing style actually um it was just too detailed and if I'm reading a book that's this big I don't really want that much detail um but it's actually about the assassination of Tolstoy so it's got quite um it's got like a quite a communist theme and obviously anti-communist theme um and you know it's uh there's three main characters and they're brought together with through their love of dogs um but yeah i think it's reading when i when i did read it it almost felt like um like a real historical book but obviously it's fiction um but yeah that's the second book i've got to continue reading um so this final book, let me see what I've got in the cover. <laughs> that is so cute. Um, so here I've got, I've put my start date and my finish date. So my start date was the 15th of November, 2019. Did I know that I wouldn't get this done soon? Cute. Um, anyway, I'm on page 118. This is a 2000 page novel, um, so to say that I've got quite a bit to go is an understatement. Um, the novel is called 266 by Robert Bolaño. Um, 
Bolaño is such a massive figure in Latin America and Latin American literature, um, which is why I wanted to pick it up because such a big name and a 2000 page novel is just something that I want to add to my portfolio. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so far, um, it's a bit of a struggle. Basically, um, this book so far, um, it's four friends that we're following um, and there is a murder that they have to figure out. At least I think there is. <laughs> um but yeah the reason the reason why i'm so why i haven't picked this book up in so long is because it's massive and um 2000 pages this is like four novels in one so um it was always going to be a difficult read obviously but yeah i think my that's my biggest reason for not picking up it's just too big um from what i remember the text was quite all right um though i'm still at the bit where the author is setting the scene <laughs> um and you can imagine setting the scene for a 2000 page novel is gonna take quite a long time but um if i say 2000 page novel one more time anyway um but yeah so i think with these books um i need to like i said do some sort of project book kind of thing um, if you have any like tips or recommendations um, for how to read the books on your bookshelf and not buy new books, um, please let me know because I have so many books just waiting for me to read them. But um, yeah, I just for some reason I just never pick them up. I think it's like when you have it's just been there for a long time, so they don't really pull me towards them, but they have to pull me towards them because my bookshelf needs new books once i read these um but yeah so those are my three monsters um let me know if you've read any of these books um should i just forget about i mean they're from great authors so i wouldn't not read them but any tips and tricks um tips and tricks are welcome but yeah thank you for watching this video and hope you have a lovely day